What's up guys, Rui here, welcome back to the channel. If you have been following the channel for a while now, then you probably are pretty familiar with the brand idol, Edo. For the large majority of the time, I would say that you could most probably see me wearing a pair of pants coming from them. Therefore, in today's video, we will be taking a look at their newest release, which is the Wonder Knee Length Shorts. I will be going through its design, functionality aspect, as well as how I personally style them. For those who are new to them, Idol Edo start off as a streetwear brand, but currently they are focusing into specializing in producing bottom wear. That's why a lot of the newer releases are all pants. I really love this new direction they are going for as I feel like a lot of brands kind of specializes or focus a lot of their attention onto outerwears but not many brands out there would actually specialize in only bottom wear. Now before I further dive into the review of the shorts, I have to mention first and foremost that the people over at Edo were extremely kind enough to have gifted me this pair of shorts so that I could do a review video on. Therefore, shout out to ZZ and thank you so much for hooking me up with this pair. Let's get on with today's video. Let's first take a look at the design and silhouette of the shorts because I think this is one of the strongest aspects of it. I would say it draws quite a lot of inspiration and combines some of the best parts of both the previous capacity crop pants and the plion cargo pants. When it comes to design wise, my favorite part about this pair and all of the previous pants that I have reviewed so far, they are rather minimal looking compared to many other functional or tech wear looking pants that are around this price range. While having tons of pockets and straps can be a pretty cool aesthetic, a lot of times I'm just looking for something that is much more toned down that I can wear on a regular basis. Personally, for me, I would very much prefer something that is much more toned down so that I could have more styling options with it. On days whereby I want to go full tech wear, I can always do so by adding more accessories such as um, pouches, sling bags, and whatnot. And on days whereby I just want a more cleaner outfit, I do have that option as well. That being said, there are a couple of design details on the shorts through the usage of stitching patterns that goes across diagonally on the front part of the pants that goes all the way to the back which leads to a large curvature pattern. These details don't seem much or obvious from afar but you are able to see and observe the stitching patterns upon up close. If storage is a concern for you, this pair of shorts is made for you as it has two really massive front pockets just like the capacity crop pants. You literally could fit almost if not all of your everyday carry items. In addition to being a massive pocket, it is also expandable if needed and easily collapses to have a pretty flat profile when it's not being used. However, one downside of the capacity crop pants for me is just how wide and big the pocket openings are, as I am the type of person who likes to rest my hands in my pocket, and because of this, the resting point for my wrist is all the way back, which makes it kinda in an awkward position. This time around, the pockets are redesigned and updated by having the pocket openings to have a much more aggressive angular cut, and by doing so, it allows the pocket to have a similar storage capacity, but also having a more natural resting position for my wrist. An extra added benefit by having this design is does a better job in preventing things from accidentally falling out as the angular design and smaller opening will tend to do a better job in catching things from falling off. I also really like that the new design of the pocket has a very hexagonal pattern which does look pretty futuristic. There is also a dedicated pocket located inside the right hand pocket that is specifically made to house your phone. And if all of that is still not enough storage for you, there are two more additional back pockets that you can access. Apart from the two massive pockets, another aspect that makes this pair quite unique is the shape and silhouette of it. The top part of the shorts does lean more towards a baggy silhouette with a little bit of drop crush design that actually helps with the articulation of the pants. It then starts to funnel down a little bit towards the cuffs to give it a more tapered look. When it comes to the construction of these shorts, I would say it is fairly well made. The stitching job on it for the most part is done really well with only some very minor imperfections that can be found. 
Overall, I would not take it away from the overall build quality of these shorts. And I would say that if it's taken care of well enough, it will be able to last you a very long time and you will get a lot of wear value from it. One thing that I really like about all of Ida Edo's bottom wear is how much they focus on mobility. Personally, I didn't have any chance to try out some of the higher end functional pants from brands such as Acronym or Enfant Leve, hence I can't really make a true comparison between the differences of articulation, but I can say with confidence that if your price range or budget is around the $100 price point and having high mobility is something you do look for in a pair of shorts, then this will take the majority of the boxes for you. Throughout my time wearing it, I really didn't feel any movement restriction and even performing bigger movements such as squatting, lunges, and stretching can all be done without much problems. That's because on top of having a silhouette that is designed with mobility in mind, the fabric of the shorts does also have some stretchiness towards it. The shorts are constructed with a blend of fabric material with the main composite fabric being 78% viscose and follow up by 14% nylon and 4% spandex. It is in fact the same fabric material used to construct the pleating cargo pants. So if you do own a pair of that, then you will have a very good idea on how these shorts feel. In terms of sizing wise, I am a size 30 and can go up to a size 32 with a belt. Therefore, I did pick up the S size for this pair. Overall, I would just say stick true size because the overall fabric does have a little bit of stretchiness towards it. Therefore, it can be expanded a little bit more if needed be. Moving towards how I style this pair of pants, because it's a pretty new silhouette that I'm unfamiliar with, it did take some time for me to kind of figure out how I would like to style it. That being said, I did have a lot of fun trying to figure out what pieces goes well with this or how I want to incorporate it into my wardrobe because it kind of just pushes me out a little bit more out of my comfort zone and try something different. Overall, I would say that if you already have a pre-existing wardrobe that is very tech wear oriented, then this piece will fit in very easily. The first outfit is pretty similar to the last review video I did on the Plus J oversized long sleeve shirt as I styled it pretty much the same way. I have on the white stand collar shirt paired with the Wonder Shorts. I think this two piece complements each other really nicely to give it that minimal but elevated kind of look due to the cutting of the pieces. For accessory wise, I just kept it simple again and have on the Dreep SVR KTS01 side bag and the footwear, I wanted to try something different here and went with the Suiko Kise V instead. I think having on the sandals for this outfit really blends well here. Moving towards the second outfit, I am pretty excited for this one because it is actually heavily inspired from a video game character. So if you guys can guess which character or video game is this inspired from, do let me know down below in the comment section. It's not 100% exactly the same, but I tried to replicate the outfit as much as I can using the limited pieces of clothes I own. For the top, I have on another Plus J long sleeve shirt, but I left it unbuttoned and just paired it with a simple Uniqlo Supima cotton t-shirt. I would say this outfit would look much cooler if I have a black pair of military boots or high top sneakers, but unfortunately I don't own any, so I just went with my caramel hiking boots paired with high socks to maintain the full black aesthetic. For the last outfit, I wanted to put it in a more tech wear oriented outfit and went for a more futuristic urban utilitarian look and also I think this can be a good way to style it for the colder days as well. I brought out my tried and true Uniqlo Blotted Parka which for those who just got into tech wear, this is a very good starting piece to build your wardrobe from. Keeping up with the colder days in mind, I paired these shorts with a pair of thermal leggings underneath it and as for footwear, I decided to go for the Nike Fear of God moccasins. I think the shape and design of the sneaker has a pretty futuristic vibe with it. And lastly, a tech wear outfit would not be complete without some sort of accessory or bag. Hence, I have on the Orbit Gear M100 BK version 3 to give the outfit additional utilitarian details. To wrap this video up, if you are looking for a pair of affordable functional pair of shorts, that has a ton of storage capacity as well as providing you with high level mobility and articulation, this is a really great option that you could look into. What are your thoughts on the newly released Wonder Knee Length Shorts? Are you a fan of it and do you see yourself incorporating it into your wardrobe? Do let me know down in the comment section below. 
Also, to my knowledge, Idol Edo has no intention to kind of re-release past pieces, including this one. Therefore, if you really are a fan of this pair of shorts and you want to get it, then be sure to not sleep on it. That is all I have for today's video. We are currently at the last stretch of 2020. And to kind of wrap this whole year up nicely for the channel, I have one pretty interesting video idea planned up. So if you want to be notified on when that video gets released, be sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already because it not only notifies you but also it really does help this channel out a massive way. Also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy watching it and as always I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.